ladies and gentlemen, absolute congratulations for surviving April 2022 and pretty much every day or month before that here we have another one of those super strange Quetzalcoatl fires and giant hail ice storms oh god if you're looking you're gonna see an alien skull in here dun 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 yeah dust storms just shooting down like an arrow you got multiple wildfires that kind of look like volcano and then you got the storm front gravity waves pushing on in and you know for like 10 years elon musk was like we're going to mars 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 and then now he's like wait what about free speech and I'm like, well, I don't think they have a lot of free speech in Beijing or Shanghai right now. And um, and I don't think they have a lot of free speech in Russia. So on a free speech level, America seems to be doing as well as any country out there. Although there are micro data points you could bring up to say, no, that is wrong. And well... It's Friday night. I'm not in the mood to argue with anyone. I'm just trying to say, hey, this is fucking crazy, dude. And there's a super crazy heat wave in India happening right now. We're on day 63 of Putin, I mean, Russia, invading Ukraine. And here in America, Twitter, which is a real thing. I've tweeted like a quarter million times. Obviously, I like Twitter. You know, it's like the X-Men danger room. Tom, Tom Hart's tanks. What an awful tweet. Because the U.S. Naval Institute um, said, hey, during World War II, the Navy's desertion rate was 5.5 per thousand sailors. But by 1977, the desertion rate had a six-fold increase of 31.7 per 1,000 sailors. When their country needed them, people of the 1940s did their duty. Another reason why they are the greatest generation. Hashtag fun fact. And, you know, part of social media is to get people arguing about what they disagree on. And I just want to say, I believe Gen X is awesome. And so I feel like we've been the glue keeping it together. You know, as the baby boomers generation, which has been around since like, what, 80, 60, 1960? I mean, it's like 60 years of an entire generation. What's he talking about? Oh, I guess I'm trying to say I'm worried about volcano season, earthquake season, and hurricane season, which will be on us before you know it. Here's the deal, man. Here are the planets. There's Uranus. There's Eris. There is Neptune. There is Jupiter. There's Saturn, Mars, and Venus. And there's Pluto. Of course, yeah, Mercury. Make, make, how may, Ceres, and Luna. Okay, so this is today. Now look at these planetary positions, okay? And so Earth is way over here. Earth has been in this zone over here. Earth is about to pass through this zone here. And these are major sized gas giant planets. Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, and then Uranus up here. And so, you know, and I don't know, Eris and Pluto might even be like minor tiny wave magnetars. What's he talking about? Energy and oversimplifications. But so we're definitely going to be on earthquake alert as I would say from when Earth passes like here. For example, here is June and you'll see Jupiter and Neptune. Saturn haven't moved much, but in comparison to Uranus, Saturn and Neptune, Jupiter's moved quite a bit. But Earth has swung around quite a bit. This is June. And then you got Venus out in the lead and then Mars tracking right behind Jupiter, almost like a moon. But what? And so definitely, for me, your planetary defense commander, Star Lord, New Thor 7, and T Thor, Thor News, uh, I've been doing this for a while, and so we do this thing where we look at planetary angular momentum and how it affects other planets as they all spin around the sun. And so, you know, this whole system where you've got a lot of density and big bodies 
rotating with their own little mini solar systems of moons all around them that like now when earth passes by to the summer and then into the start of the fall this is august we're looking at right here hurricane season and so we are definitely going to be on absolutely super duper red alert while earth is going through from here to like the saturn point as it approaches here to up there does that make sense to you like we have a larger earthquake and volcano watch zone during the time earth is over here on the same side as pretty much all of the major gas giants and if you just include eris and pluto as just really weird um, things that are out deep in space but somehow seem to have effects in our solar system or are technically considered part of our solar system you know i don't know i'm just saying it. this is gonna be an interesting run and so you know me like for politics everybody gets to vote in november which is still months away so we have to make it through earthquake volcano and hurricane season and asteroid season you got giant comets coming through like giantest comet of all time anyway remember when we were all freaking out about k2 and that'll be passing through at the end of the year like there are a lot of interesting things happening all over and we're going into solar maximum anywho so yeah right now i don't know like everybody gets to vote and um so and life should be kind of fun so we should be working on having a great summer together great fourth of july what am i trying to say um yeah so you know when you see bunches of fires that keep happening here having a major earthquake or volcano eruption and any part here would not be a major surprise and we've seen major volcanoes that bursted and erupted when the you know about a half a year ago today so we're putting together a lot of theories to just basically say hey stay cool stay safe and overall not only the united states of america's disaster response system sucks but technically the whole world's overall disaster response system sucks and that during the last 40 years where we've seen trillionaires come into it there's this big question and we're like hey let's go to mars and then at that point you ask how much how many rights do the non-trillionaire humans have like let's say the trillionaires that get to mars are like the honorary martians then like how they're asking like hey how many rights do look that looks like a giant fist do non-trillionaires have does that make sense in science fiction levels oh yeah so for a large portion of my life i was a screenwriter or i wrote movies i mean i never sold anything and nothing never got made i had shit option though Anyway, was it talking about? Oh, yeah. So, technically, this whole magical situation where you've got, like, giant angels and weather angels fighting in the sky. There's a whole lot happening. But some people will say, I do not believe in mythology, but I believe in the harp, which, which apparently is a machine, a science machine. They had, they can change the weather and do anything they want to it with these harp machines in, in Alaska. That was like 20 years ago. So it's always like the, uh, it's like the atom bomb. We're like, man, they dropped the atom bomb in the 40s. Whatever we have today has to be much more powerful, right? Question mark? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. And part of Asteroid Fight Club is like, yo, we are trying to avoid World War III and get human beings better human rights and to treat each other better. We all know, like, healthcare is an absolute total clusterfuck. Um, and that you know inflation has been kicking ass kicking everybody's ass but corporate profits are higher than ever so these are strange days and so like everybody's trying to poison the information well not everybody but you know what i'm saying that it's just like a bunch of people screaming at each other and there's no overall plan other than for make money man I, anyway it's 
crazy shit. And if you've, you know, been any part of the weather and space weather and truth community that, you know, they've kind of chosen sides. They're like everybody who talks about that we're going to a new mini ice age or that type of shit. Usually they're on one side of the political aisle and the people who are like, hey, you know what would save everything is a carbon tax. You know, so you got like grand solar minimum and um, mini ice age weather mines on one side. And then you got like, hey, a carbon tax will fix everything. And carbon is the only thing wrong. I don't know. You know, so there's no real good choice. There's like a Pepsi and there's a Coke. Anywho. And then they just like introduced, man, remember in the 80s, they were like, the devil is going to come up with like world world money. Just a one world money that anybody could use anywhere at any time. No rules. And then all of a sudden they came out with crypto, which really exploded on the scene. I mean, it was created in like 2012, but it exploded on the global scene in 2017. And then that when the pandemic hit, all of a sudden it was like, hey, guess what is 68,000 times worth more than the dollar you hold in your hand? It's one of these invisi digi dollars. Yeah. Crazy days. And so you had like, you have trying to prevent World War Three, and now you've got like off world stuff where like people or corporations are like, hey, it's okay to set up your own corporation off of Earth. And then Earth rules don't apply to you. And so it's like, I don't know, everybody has to like, rewrite an essay by the end of the year uh what do american values really mean what type of future do we want to have and sure yeah there have been a lot of nihilists who are like america has no future there's never you know the future is just gonna be horrible and maybe that's true but maybe it's not true and god is great and we've kept civilization standing for thousands of years and as a Christian, the like second coming hasn't happened yet because it said there would be a thousand years of peace. And as far as I've checked, um, there was like 200 years of peace, 300 years of peace for Pax Romana in Rome to where they had like 200 years of peace. And so we'd still have to get like an 800 more year peace period in my mind. But you're allowed to think whatever you want. It is Friday night and this is a YouTube video, you know. So I'm just giving you my crazy wild screenwriter cool guy tries to be funny sometimes when shit isn't so crazy opinion and you know you can get in, uh, people get mad at you if you talk about shit sometimes that's 100 percent true and so it's like texas on bloomberg is like texas is on track to become the earthquake capital of the u.s this is why and then Wall Street Journal is like, this private island with a $72 million price tag isn't where you think it is. Probably because it's up in low Earth atmosphere or already on the moon or Mars. Maybe they do have one of those star chamber thingies where you can like D-wave jump to planet to planet. Who knows? You got to know they have a whole lot better technology than the crap they've stuck us with since the 80s. We were still on a petroleum engine, a petroleum combustion engine, which was invented in like the 1850s. So it's like we're still stuck in 1984, but different. It's not the exact fucking same. You've definitely had, you know, but at the end where 1984 ends and we take a step forward to 1985. And that's where the X-Men come in. I don't know, man. Now I'm just kind of talking crazy. Oh, there's an eclipse coming. Like tomorrow and Pluto just went retrograde. You see that? Mythology and harp. You know, the truth community has been interesting. I've been, I've been a part of it for, uh, nine years and everybody you know everybody's allowed to have their own opinion or perspective on the world but definitely i think i believe in jesus christ and mythology like the plants were there before uh jesus like and it i was looking at bible verses and i was talking about you know when it talks about the, the venusian morning star stuff or mars or saturn uh illusions illusions words but the whole fact that you could see the plants line up in the sky now in the morning before dawn making them technically all morning stars although they're planets but words are malleable use them however you want to amber heard admitted to pooping on johnny depp's bed guard testifies yeah these are crazy days like i don't know elon if you or anyone is listening 
maybe remind everybody, take one minute out to be like, hey, everybody, go check out Jupiter and Venus, uh, the two brightest bodies, two of the brightest, I think Sirius is the brightest, um, in the sky. You know, they'll be there touching, almost kissing soon. Then you got Mars and Saturn you can see, and then the sky itself is always filled with beautiful, gorgeous stars like Altair and Antares. Like, get people to look at the sky at the end of spring into summer with wonder again and not, like, being focused back on fucking Earth for the November election. Like, everybody can take the summer off of politics, pretty much. You ain't got to do a job except for go and vote the names you want in November. So, like, everybody can technically take the summer off from politics. Um, you ain't going to be able to make much of a big difference in the elections um, by just talking about the same old shit, in my opinion. Uh, you know, this is free country. You can do whatever you want to do. But remember, and they were like, hey, the more, uh, like in 2020 and 2021, they were like, the more inflation gets, the more dollars they print, inflation will go up, and then Bitcoin will keep going up. And so far, um, we're, we're still hanging out at like 38, I think. Anyway, strange days, but, you know, eclipse season is about to begin. And eclipse season is always extra wild and extra weird. And so, you know, one year peace treaty on earth where nobody fights a war against anybody would be super duper great and help kick off the roaring 20s. But, and, but it is severe weather season, so giant chunks of ice will be falling from the sky. Growing concern in San Miguel and Mora continues as the massive Calf Canyon and Hermit's Peak fire grows. The cell phone video was sent to me from Taos Company. So, who is assisting in evacuations and road closures? Wildfire, New Mexico's by Gabrielle Burkhart. Yeah, so, I don't know, man. Remember that Tonga volcano eruption just like five months ago? Well, the last time a volcano erupted inside the lower continental, you wait, the lower 48 United States was about 100 years ago, 1915? And so, you know, seeing a volcano erupt before, I would say, if there was going to be one, I would say California, but with all the critical wildfire stuff we've been seeing lately, I would say a Texas earthquake or a volcano is technically possible, especially with all the petroleum extracted out of there. So I guess one reason is Planetary Defense Commander don't really get wrapped up in all the political bullshit um, is that I've seen too many of the Edgar Casey maps too many times and uh, I think I read Nostradamus a few too many times and it has been playing that you know that prophecy is partial damage mitigation you know we still have free will uh, so do something good with it asterisk I don't know maybe I'm having communication problems this eclipse it's messing me up but know that I love you and I do hope for better days and I do wish for peace on earth. And so stay cool. This is definitely weird. And it's going to get weirder. God bless everyone. And this is me being all free speechy. Ain't that peachy? Oh, that was cheesy.